welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to participate in a tag that I saw Ashley Peters do on her channel, Coffee and Firsties. So I will leave a link to her video down below. And this tag is called the sliding into the school year tag. And it's just 10 questions that are just questions kind of about me as a teacher and my school and the things that I do to get prepared for the year. Yes, I just got out of the shower. My hair is still wet, but I thought I would film this video for you guys. Just a quick update of my life. Some of you may already know, I just bought a new house and I just moved in and I'm doing a lot of remodeling and it's just a lot because I only have the summer to get as much done as I can. And so when I'm not working on the house, I'm running errands or I'm doing laundry or I'm just doing stuff. So I thought I would film this video for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I took some notes in this notebook. It says, follow your dreams. They know the way. And I think I got this at Michael's for like five bucks, but I wrote down the questions in here. It's just easier for me instead of having my phone to look at the question and plus when I was writing it down, I could kind of think about what I wanted to say. So question number one, what fun things did you do over the summer? Okay, so this summer, I guess buying a house is fun. You could call that fun. I'm very excited and very happy for it. Uh, moving, however, not so much fun, but that is one big thing that's happened this summer. I also went to the beach with my family for a week, which was really nice. It was really hot, but it was just so nice to get away and be at the beach with my family and Paisley. So we had a lot of fun. That was for a week. And we went to Garden City Beach in South Carolina. I went to the pool a few times with some friends and with Paisley. I went to a show. I went out to dinner a couple of times with some friends. And I also went to the lake. Question number two, what grade level will you teach next year and where? I am going to be teaching second grade in North Carolina and this will be my 14th year. I taught fifth grade for two years, third grade for five years, and this will be my seventh year in second grade. Question number three, how many students are you expecting this year? Well, I didn't really know the answer to this question, so I contacted the person in charge of that at our school through email, and she told me that I'm going to be having, and I know numbers change because numbers always change at the end of the year. We either, you know, have kids withdraw or kids enroll, and so at this point, I have 18 kids in my class, nine boys and nine girls. Question number four, when can you get back in your classroom? Well, I can go anytime during the summer, except like right at the end of June or the 1st of July, they close the school on Friday. And so Monday through Thursday, I can usually get in if I need to. I've actually had to go there for um, an interview or something I had to do for an interview team. But they recently sent out an email saying that they are waxing the floors and putting new carpet in. So I can't go back to my school until August 1st, but after August 1st, I should be able to get in every day, except on Fridays. I don't know when they go back to working on Fridays. I think it's like a week before school starts. Question number five, what is your classroom theme this year? So I've never really had a theme. I usually do a theme on like my bulletin board for when kids come, you know, for meet the teacher. I usually have a bulletin board that has a theme. But as far as my classroom goes, I just try to keep everything colorful and fun and bright. I try not to be too overstimulating at the beginning of the year. I usually don't have any like learning anchor charts up. I just have, you know, ready something ready for my word wall, my curtains, and usually everything that I have in my classroom is pretty colorful. So I don't really have a theme. Maybe I should do a theme. I don't want to restart my classroom. However, I am moving into a new classroom this year, just right down the hall from where I'm at. So, that might be a good opportunity to have a theme this year. I'll think about that. Number six, what are your classroom rules? I used to, in the past, have my kids come up with rules that they thought 
were the best rules for our class and we'd usually do like five or so and they were always you know typical rules like raise your hand before speaking be respectful don't get out of your seat unless you have permission um you know those kinds of things and so the last couple of years i've been using class dojo as my behavior system and so in class dojo at the beginning of the year we as a class decide what are the positive behaviors that you think you should be doing to earn points and what are the negative behaviors that you think would deserve to have points taken away and so we kind of do it as a class and then as the year goes on i kind of add to that so i don't really have rules they just know what's expected and they know how they can earn points or lose points and it seems to work really really well also my kids can earn points for a certain week, like a week, they can, you know, earn 20 points and get a reward. Or sometimes we do like whole month where we will see who has, you know, the top 10 people with the highest points at the end of the month will get a reward. Or we might do a percentage of, you know, you have to have 95% or higher to do this. So we are a PBIS school and we give rewards for good behavior and try to influence other kids to have good behavior as well number seven have you bought or created anything for your classroom this year no i honestly haven't had time to breathe and i just don't i just haven't so in my mind i have you know the first week of august that'll be like my last week of summer and then I'll get back into the groove of things. Question number eight, does your school host a back to school night and what does that look like? So we actually don't do a back to school night. We do a meet the teacher day where students and their parents come in to the classroom and there's like a set time. So I think ours is at four o'clock. And so students and their parents come to the classroom, they find their desk. And I usually have, you know, a little letter there for them and a like a cup with some treats in it or something like that just to kind of welcome them at meet the teacher the kids get to meet me and kind of see which friends are in their class and where their desk is going to be and i also do a powerpoint slideshow presentation every year for my parents just to kind of keep me on track and make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. And so I'll present that slideshow and I'll just go through it. And then at the end, you know, parents can ask any questions or tell me anything that they need to tell me usually. And that's it. And then once school starts, we have like an open house later on in the year where parents come and see what the kids have been doing. Number nine, what are your goals this year? So my goals this year, I've been thinking about this a little bit just because I've been watching some YouTube videos and um, I was on that interview team at school and kind of hearing other people talk about ways that they differentiate or, you know, focus on whatever in their classroom to help their students grow. I feel like my goal this year is to do a lot more data analysis and kind of just dig into the data that M class gives me and that math assessments give me and you know all these things and just kind of target specific goals that kids need to help them grow because I kind of do that anyways and you know my peels we sit together and we discuss data a little bit but I think just kind of knowing what my kids need a little better because I want to grow them as much as I can. And my kids do grow. Every year my kids grow. And it's amazing to watch. But I feel like if I just kind of dig into data a little bit more, I might be able to tailor my teaching better and just have that as a focus. So I guess that's my main goal this year. And the last question, question number 10. What is your must-have for the first day of school? So this will be my 14th first day of school and I've tried lots of things I've experienced a lot and just being practical here I think a must-have for the first day of school are labeled bins that you have out and ready for students to put all of their school supplies in so like a bin for pencils a bin for post-it notes a bin for glue a bin for paper a bin for folders like a bin for everything 
And then once I have time, I'll organize through everything. We use those items as like a classroom community. And so when my kids need glue, they go get a glue stick. Or when my kids need a pencil, they go get a pencil. And so we don't really worry about, these are my pencils or this is my glue. And we kind of just share throughout the year. And then once everybody has what they need, you know, crayons, color pencils, scissors. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna give my kids scissors this year. I think I'm just gonna keep the scissors and then pass them out as we need them. But anything that they need in their desk, then I give that to them. We label folders, we label notebooks. It's easier to just kind of have everything right there, all organized. And then once everybody has everything, I just put a lid on the tub and stick the tub in my cabinet. And so everything's ready to go for the whole entire school year. That is the end of this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned a few things. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and click on the thumbs up button down below this video to let me know that you liked it. Click on the subscribe button so you can see more videos from me. I appreciate all of you guys' support. I'm just so excited for everything that's happening right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!